Hey Indie Warriors, what do witches like to have for lunch? Sandwiches, of course. Welcome everybody to I Dream of Indie, or should I say the I Dream of Indie Brewing Company. Today we are reviewing Witchtastic on Steam. You know, since the release of Overcooked back in 2016, we've seen quite a few games attempt these cooperative multitasking gameplay elements, which makes sense. Playing games together is fun after all. Though in the case of Overcooked, it showed that we can easily be angered by our co-op partners while gaming as well. Witchtastic would be the latest game to try to build off the success of that franchise, and while the core concept isn't exactly original, it still has moments where it's wickedly fun. Witchtastic features five different chapters for you to go through, consisting of 44 levels, and no surprise here, it has players taking control of a witch or witches as the game allows for up to four players. While each level is fairly unique from the last, your goal is to read scrolls that will appear within the room and gather ingredients shown on that scroll in order to create a potion, which you'll then need to bring to an owl. The more potions you successfully brew, the better your score. You'll be using a massive pot that is somewhere within the level to throw the ingredients in, and of course you'll need firewood that you'll have to gather yourself either by chopping down trees or finding sticks scattered around the area, and that will keep the pot hot. You will need to throw more and more wood on the fire in order to keep it going. Gameplay starts out simple enough with you just needing to collect a few herbs and spices, bring them to a chopping board, chop them up, and throw them in the pot, but eventually the levels become enemies of sorts and you'll have more and more ingredients that you'll need to gather, like rat tails where you'll need to actually transform into a cat, chase down the rat, and kill it in order to steal the tail, or ghosts which you'll need to trap in bottles. You'll need to move pretty quickly here as you are on a timer and as you can imagine things get frantic in a hurry, especially with a co-op partner. You'll really want to plan things out and decide who's going to gather what and who's going to be where in order to be successful as a team. I tested the game in both single and multiplayer with silent signs so I didn't have the full effect of four witches in the kitchen, but it was already a little bit crazy with two. Your performance will determine which levels are unlocked going forward, but don't worry, I didn't really think this game was all that difficult. At the worst, we would have to rerun through a level maybe two, three times tops. You'll also unlock cute little accessories for your witch characters as you beat more and more levels like hats that they can wear or different colored and styled clothings. I found that some of the level design could be a little hit or miss. I enjoyed the layout of some of these levels and some of the strategy that was involved, you might even need to be avoiding enemies at certain points so that you don't get in a dizzy state because then your partner's gonna have to run over and literally smack you so that you wake up and snap out of it. But other levels were a little bit frustrating like having to wait for platforms to circle around and then retrieving them from the other side. Thankfully though you do have the ability to hop on your broom at any time which will allow you to not only jump fences but you'll move pretty quickly that way. Overall the controls worked effectively enough. No real complaints there. I felt like the game ran very smoothly and that helped to keep the action fast and frantic. As you probably would have guessed, this game is not very fun single player. I did mess around with it for a little bit and the game does scale to its credit to make things a little bit more fair, but obviously it's not all that enjoyable alone. Wisely, however, the developer has opted for couch co-op and you can also do online co-op, which is the way we tested the game. Silent Signs was on her laptop and that worked just fine. We didn't have any lag issues or anything like that. In terms of visuals, I always enjoy a good spooky theme, and Witchtastic's actually not a terrible looking game. You might get sick of some of the environments, as there aren't a ton of them, but each world is at least a little bit unique from the last. You might find yourself in a cityscape of sorts, or a swampy bog, and I did enjoy that there were different enemy types throughout these levels, like wolves that would try to chase you down, or a spider that would leave spider webs behind. Now the graphics aren't mind blowing by any stretch of the imagination but they certainly serve the purpose and I overall enjoyed the aesthetic. Sound effects are rather unremarkable here however, and the soundtrack serves the purpose but it does get rather repetitive fairly quickly. Still, Witchtastic at the end of the day is an enjoyable little party game romp that you can play with friends and I enjoyed it. It was actually not as frustrating as I was expecting it to be, at least from my perspective. Silent Signs was getting a little bit annoyed towards the end. Some of the level design is a bit lacking here. You will probably get angry with your friends or friends on more than one occasion. But this developer clearly has some talent. I look forward to whatever they cook up next and I had a good time playing this one.
Thank you so much for watching the latest video from I Dream of Indie. We would now like to take a moment to pay tribute to our great indie warriors who support us through channel memberships. Mitchell Hall, Bunny, Kevalo, Bill T, Christian Cruz, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Peach, Adriana Amato, CJR, PSC, C Coil, Skeptism, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Julian Colbus, JRS the 8th, Ray Lynn, and Marky Mint. Thank you so much for all you do for independent developers, publishers, and for I Dream of Indie. Everybody else, please head down to the description box below if you so wish we should defeat the echo chamber together and bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.